So yeah, something just showed up and uh, we're gonna unbox it together. These are the Air Jordan 4 SE Paris Olympics. Not waiting on these. Like I've got stuff that I've had for a couple of weeks, just haven't got to yet on content. Not these. Nope, nope. We open them now. Let's kick it. Super giddy and excited for these. I'm a yeah, hashtag got them early. Paid a premium. Paid instant shipping. Paid next day shipping. This, and I don't think it's going to be the case, would be the pair of shoes that if they sit and get cheap, I'm going to be mad. Because I paid for these. I wanted them that bad. Look at that cement box with the almost wet look to the flight logo. Took a shot on the bottom. That crumbled a little bit. So here we go in my true size. Eight and a half Air Jordan 4 Retro SE. Smoke gray, iron gray. From GOAT. Obviously I did pick them up from GOAT. Have the splatter print on the wax paper. I can't wait to check out these materials. They are double papered. Oh my, are the materials good. Oh my. Oh, that Durabuck. And the texturing, that looks like a cut of suede. We have the die cuts on the pieces of material, so we got some quality pieces here. All gray on the outsole. The two-tone gray look. We have kind of a cement concrete look to the wings and the rear, which is grayed out. Medial side, you'll notice there's no ventilation here. It's got the mesh pattern, but it's not the actual mesh. It's just pressed into the piece of material, as you can see. Same thing up here. The laces are even a step up. They have is that a wax coating. No, they're a little bit drier, but whew, the felt. We got this premium felt like material going on on the inside here in the collar. Look at this tongue. No sewn on label. This is pressed into the material, which is another piece of Durabuck. It might be premium new buck. It feels pretty premium. I don't think it's it's cheapo synthetic uh, Durabuck. I think it, I think it's new buck. Yeah, because I mean, looking at the cut, at the grain here on the cut. Let me get it to focus. It looks like a decent cut. Same goes up here. Let me look at the cut. They're premium like I thought they would be. They should be. They're special editions. Let's see if we got a polyurethane insole. There needs to be a polyurethane insole. I'm just going to say it now. It needs to be. Dream Cell is unacceptable in this situation, I think. Is it going to be the end of the world? No, but I, I think we need polyurethane. It's Dream Cell. Very, very fluffy liner on the insole, though. Very, very fluffy. Like, it's a thick piece, but it's Dream Cell. This is unacceptable. Nike Jordan brand. Why is there a Dream Cell insole in this premium special edition Jordan 4? Why is it not polyurethane? Just because it's not an original color doesn't mean it can't get polyurethane. It, are we really putting y'all out? Don't worry, I'll wait. I want an answer, Jordan brand, because this needed to be polyurethane. Again, not the end of the world, but for a premium release like this, I expected polyurethane. I can actually feel the airbag under the strobel. Midsole is just as dense as the rest of them. Man, these look good. God, they look good, though. My only gripe, my only gripe is it's a dream cell insole when I, I really believe it should be polyurethane. It's a premium product. Um, so it deserves the premium, which if you want to consider polyurethane premium, because it used to be standard, <laughs> uh, it needs to be the premium insole. But I've gotten to a point to where I'm starting to think, because look, I really fell in love with the three when I got the green glows, but the more I get the four, the more I love the four. There's two four videos today. I filmed the Vivid Sulfurs earlier today, but this video is probably going to come out before. I got a, quite the little... Jordan 4 collection brewing and growing. I, I, 
think I think this is my favorite Jordan now. Over the 12. It's a close race. I'm going to throw some 12s on and be like, nah, these are still my favorite. That's what's going to end up happening. But, I mean, it's close. It's gotten close. I get why this is most people's favorite, and this is touted as, like, the greatest Air Jordan of all time. But when you start getting these special editions like this, boy, it steps the game up. I'm wearing some black joggers. I'm also going to throw you, we're going to get a double on foot because I think these are going to look phenomenal with those light wash jeans that I have in the Jordan 4 Vivid Sulphur video and the reverse Panda Dunks. I'm going to throw those on as well because I think those are going to look good with this as well. So we're going to get two different looks. We're going to get some all black joggers and then we're going to get some denim. Let's check them out on feet. Give me this way.